Of all the prophecies for Jesus' second coming, uh, there's many of them that we could look at in the world and we can say, wow, that seems to be happening right now. But there's one in particular that I don't think there's anybody that could deny that this is happening and, and it was prophesied it would happen and that's the falling away. It was said in the Bible that before Christ's coming, there would be a great falling away of the church and that's what we're staring at in the face right now. Uh, so I wanted to take a moment and talk about, well, why is this happening? Because what's not happening is, what's not happening is all the godly people are hanging out in church and all the ungodly people are like, you know what, church is not for me. That is not happening. And I think when most people envision this falling away, they kind of envision all the good people staying in church and all the bad people leaving church. But what's happening is, exactly the opposite of that because there's there's a few major categories of people leaving the church the first and the one that should trouble most church people is is the young people the young people are leaving the church unlike anything i have ever seen in my life and they're leaving for a couple reasons number one they're smart enough to see that what the Bible tells us we should be doing and how we should be treating each other, they're seeing that that is actually not taking place in the church. They're seeing hypocrisy. Um, and, and children, you know, I, I was a teacher and a principal for over 20 years. You can't fool a kid. You could fool an adult long before you can fool a kid. And, and we're even seeing adults being fooled more than we're seeing kids being fooled by all this. But they're not dumb. And a lot of people, you know, and when they get to that age when they can finally make the decisions for themselves, they're not going to stick around in that. They're not going to stick around in hypocrisy, especially when what they see, and this has been communicated to me by hundreds of young Christian men and women, is what they see is that the people that the church is speaking out against, those people that the church is preaching against, those people that they're saying don't be like them, those people, those people are being more like the hands and feet of Jesus Christ than what they're seeing in the church. So they're not dumb. Um, they're, it doesn't make sense to them. Why would they go to a hypocritical church and watch people be blasphemous and be sinners and indulge in sin all the while they point their fingers at people who are really actually being the hands and feet of Jesus Christ? But the other group is people who have read the Bible. Because what you're getting is you're getting a lot of people who have read the Bible and they're saying, this doesn't make any sense to me. This idea that we should all, you know, just kick back in a comfortable chair and watch the Sunday show and throw 10% in the plate and, and then just do whatever we want six and a half days a week. Um, and then Jesus is just going to come down and he's going to rapture us up and there's going to be this big feast and we're all just going to be high-fiving in the air. And then it's later on, Jesus comes back a third time, which has never been prophesied ever, a third coming. He's just going to come back again. And, and somehow, then they're going to come down and reign with Jesus while we all suffer down here. It's, it's foolish, and there's nothing biblical about it. And, and when Jesus talks about the separation of the sheep and the goats, the sheep are leaving the church, and the goats are sticking around. And every now and then the sheep will find a sheep church, and there's a few out there. There's a few churches that are shepherding sheep. But most of them, they're just filled with goats. And people that have read the Bible have no interest in hanging out with goats. Because, well, what is the difference? Well, I highly recommend you read all of Matthew 24 and 25 until you get to the part of the separation of the sheep and goats. But once you get there, because it's, it's all the same conversation. He's talking about his second coming. But once you get to that part of the separation of the sheep and the goats, it's, it's are they feeding the hungry, clothing and naked, taking care of the widows and the orphans? Are they uh, visiting the prisoners and the sick? Well, if the answer is no, according to Jesus, they go to hell. According to Jesus, you go to hell. And it's not that your works get you to heaven. No, I'm not preaching that. Please hear me loud and clear. It is only the blood of Jesus Christ that will get you to heaven. But once you've accepted that in your heart, and it is real, it is real. It is more real than the world around you is real. It is more real than, than money. It is more real than, than safety and security. It is more real uh, than even 
your neighbor is more, is so real to you, but then, then you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And guess what the Holy Spirit's going to tell you to do? He's going to tell you to be about your father's business. Guess what his business is? It's visiting the prisoners and the sick, taking care of the widows and the orphans, and feeding the hungry and clothing the naked. That's literally what his business is. And what you have is you have mega churches around the world bringing in trillions of dollars every year untaxed just to pay a few men to put on a Sunday show. Of course people are leaving the church, ladies and gentlemen. It's because, you know, again, I think 20 years ago, if you would have sat in a Bible study and you would have studied out the great falling away and said, well, what do you think this is? Like, what, what would cause this to happen? I think most people would say, well, all the non-believers, they're going to leave. They're going to run to sin. They're going to go indulge in, you know, fun stuff and indulge in, you know, pornography and drinking and go out and partying. They're going to do all that while we're in here just worshiping Jesus. That's how it's going to go down. It's just the opposite, ladies and gentlemen. The biblically sound, the people that have a heart for Jesus Christ, the people that are willing to do whatever it takes. Now, I'm not talking about somebody who just says, I love Jesus, I want to sit in a comfortable air-conditioned church, and then that, and that's what I do. Like, There's a lot of that. What I'm talking about, the people that are willing to be the hands and feet of Jesus Christ, the remnant. And I've said this many times, if you're in a town of 10,000, there's maybe one or two of you. The rest of them, they're just these goats. They're just goats is all they are. Um, just kind of, I want what I want. You know, I, my, this is mine. I'm not feeding hungry people. I got to feed my family. Um, that, that is not of Jesus Christ. And that is not of the Holy Spirit. And that is going to hell. And that's what this is all about. That's why people are leaving. Why are people leaving? All of that. They're not dumb. People who have read the Bible and understand what it is God is asking of us are leaving the church more than any other group with the exception of the young. And it is the young leaving for really the exact same reason. But not necessarily because they have a wealth of biblical knowledge, but they have enough of it to see that this is wrong and this is right. What they're doing in the four walls of the church is not at all what, what they've been taught they should do. So they're leaving. They're not dumb. And they're joining people that the church have been pointing at, and they're actually feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, taking care of the widows and orphans, and visiting the prisoners of the sick. Um, so in the end, it's the good people leaving. It's the opposite of what you probably thought would happen. Uh, but there you go. Um, you know, I'd like to say that those few good churches that are shepherding sheep will fill up and grow big, but I don't believe that to be true because the remnant is scattered. They're probably, you know, even a sheep that's feeding the hungry, clothing, or even a church that's feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, and take care of the widows, orphans, and raising up sheep, there's still probably only one or two in that congregation that get it. The rest are kind of like, why are we always feeding hungry people? Why are we always got to go visit prisoners? And don't, doesn't he know there's a Chiefs game on? Um, you know, ladies and gentlemen, they're leaving because they're not stupid in the end. Um, they're not fools. And, and, and the, the time of being fooled by this Sunday show where trillions and trillions of dollars go, go to pay a few men to put on a show, um, that's not church. That's just the entertainment industry. It's just a branch of Hollywood in the end. So, um, and that's not what we're in it for. Um, and those that are in it for the real reason, they're not doing that. They're out of there. So, um, you know, um, by the way, if you're still looking for a church, you're all, you know, for me, this is what church has become is finding the scattered remnant. Um, you know, you're always welcome to join me here on Sundays or Saturdays or Thursdays or whatever you want. So um, any thoughts on that comments, just put it below. Uh, but, you know, you ever wonder why they're leaving? They're not dumb. That's why they're leaving. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.